Side effects from estradiol can be annoying, but are controllable if you understand how your hormones work. Anytime you take exogenous hormones, meaning not what your body naturally makes, but hormones you take, you may experience some side effects, and that's true of all hormones. Synthetic estradiol is the estrogen used in hormonal forms of birth control and hormone replacement therapy. Even your own endogenous estrogen, that which your body naturally makes, can cause side effects, especially if it's out of balance with your progesterone. Remember, estrogen is the fertilizer, growing lush, healthy tissue, and progesterone is the gardener, turning off estrogen's unwanted growth-promoting effects like tumors. When you're taking the birth control pill, you're not getting real progesterone. You're taking a synthetic progestin, which is derived from testosterone. Now, there are six main side effects of estradiol. Too much estradiol can cause dark spots on your face called melasma. Estrogen stimulates melanin production, which gives color to your skin, and melasma is a common side effect of the birth control pills, and it can occur in pregnancy because of the naturally high estrogen levels. Stopping estrogen will help reduce further darkening of your skin, but it'll take a couple of months to lighten. You may need to use topical lightening agents like hydroquinolone to further reduce dark spots caused by estradiol. Now, estrogen also helps keep your cells healthy and tissues well hydrated, but too much estrogen can cause water retention, which makes you feel uncomfortably bloated. Some women prior to their periods will gain five to 10 pounds in water weight due to the imbalance of estradiol and progesterone. And perimenopausal and menopausal women can be sensitive to water retention too, especially if they've retained water easily in their youth. Lowering estradiol dose can help. Natural diuretics like uva ursi can also help reduce water retention. Too much estradiol can cause breast pain and swelling. Normal monthly estrogen surges stimulate breast tissue to prepare for pregnancy and lactation. If you're taking too much estradiol, it can aggravate pre-existing fibrocystic breast condition and enlarge existing cysts. Reducing estradiol can help, and so can DIM, a supplement derived from cruciferous vegetables that, that can help your body metabolize estrogen into less inflammatory forms. Now, too much estradiol also can cause excessive uterine bleeding, including more clots. Too much estrogen can stimulate uterine fiber growth, which contributes to heavy periods. Again, reducing estradiol can help, but what's more effective is to be sure you're taking an adequate amount of progesterone to counterbalance the estrogen. Now, while estrogen stimulates your brain, helping you to be creative and learn and remember, too much can contribute to anxiety. If you're not making enough progesterone to make calming GABA, estrogen can overstimulate you. Now, you can learn to make your own GABA using my calm meditation which you can access by signing up for our free hormone reboot training. The most dangerous side effect of taking too much estradiol is blood clots. Oral estradiol can increase the risk of blood clots. In fact, taking any steroid by mouth, estrogen, progestin, testosterone, DHEA, or cortisol can increase your risk of blood clots. And that's because oral steroid hormones interfere with your liver's clotting cascade. Dangerous blood clots in your legs are called venous thrombosis. They can break off and get in your lungs, causing a life-threatening pulmonary embolism, or in your coronary arteries, causing a heart attack, or even in your brain, causing a stroke. If you have a family history of blood clots, and especially if you've ever had a blood clot, then you are not a candidate for oral estrogen therapy, especially in birth control. Talk to your healthcare provider to see if you might use estrogen transdermally or intravaginally. Estradiol is very beneficial hormone. It's keeping your tissues lush and healthy, but when you take what your body should be making, it's hard to mitigate the effects of estradiol. If you're struggling with estradiol side effects, consider supporting your hypothalamus. Your hypothalamus controls all of your hormones as well as your body's sensitivity to your hormones. When your hypothalamus is functioning optimally, your hormones are in better balance and you metabolize them much more safely, which helps mitigate side effects. I created Genesis Goal to provide your hypothalamus with the phytonutrients it needs to do its best job at keeping your hormones balanced and you healthy. I'll see you in the next video.